All right, so let's check this. Oh, that's a good looking pot of soup. All that chicken, some potato. I want that dumpling. I have to try this chicken. Little sauce. Mmm. Mmm. This is too good to eat. Hey everyone, how are you? I'm Mukesh and welcome to Amazing Outdoor Cooking. First thing first, we bring in the outdoors indoor city because it's rainy outside under a tornado, a tornado watch. So, um, you know, we're playing it safe, we're inside. But anyway, chicken soup. Quick, easy, simple, but yeah, it's gonna be so delicious, okay? So, let me show you what we uh, have to work with. So, first of all, some chicken that is you know, washed and clean already. And um, it's about three pounds of chicken. Yeah, roughly about three pounds of chicken. You know, um, with that, we're gonna have some nice um, provisions. We got, uh, uh, what we got here? Bananas, you know, we got sweet potatoes. We got regular Idaho potato, carrots, you know, and that's gonna be Really, really good. Along with that, we got some yellow split peas or dal that's gonna go in the soup. We're gonna make dumplings with this, so the dough is already kneaded. And the seasoning to go with this. And you know the regular thing, uh, bandanya, culantro, we got an onion, we got scallions, pimento peppers, garlic, scotch bonnet pepper. That's for that. We also gonna use um well salt, black pepper. We good with that. Sazon of course. We got a uh, chicken noodle soup, and we gonna use also some chicken stock. Okay. So let's get it. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get all this in the in the processor, chop it up, and we're gonna start seasoning that chicken. Our seasoning is ready. Let me move. I'm gonna switch some stuff around here. Put that there. We're gonna get that out of the way. All right, check it. What we're gonna do, and I'm gonna use a little, not much salt. I like kosher salt, by the way. Not much salt because, because the chicken stock got salt and um, also the chicken noodle soup. So, you know, we could add that salt. We can take it back out, so. That's the way we're gonna go with that. Okay, get all that in there. My size on. And you know, uh, last night, oh, yesterday evening into the night, um, all the boys decide to hang out and um, a little hang out. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna call it a little hang out because some of us, well, some of them got home like five in the morning, if you know what I mean. <laughs> So, so um, yeah, everybody's sleeping in and, uh, and uh, I, I, I think this soup will be perfect for, uh, you know, for after that hangout, you know, I, I, my son is sleeping, uh, everybody else is asleep. So I guess when he gets up, uh, this will be perfect for him. So I just set up that camera there and I'm trying to do my thing, okay? So season up this a little. Ooh, that smells good. Alright, and I add some oil in that pot. Eh, that should be, that should be good. I'll add about, uh, about two tablespoons. That should be enough. Let me bring this up. 
open it up closer so you can see what's going on. I hope you can see that. Get that. That's smelling good. See that? Looking good, right? Yep. So we're gonna let that cook for about, I would say like for, yeah, 10, 12 minutes. And then we'll add the rest of ingredients to that. But in the meantime, I'm gonna just, keep stirring this a little. At the same time, I'm gonna add a little uh, tomato paste in here. Not much, about, I would say about a tablespoon, about that much. Just a little, just a little for now. Turn that around. I'm gonna cover it. And we're gonna leave it for a little and we'll get back to that. Let's check this, see how it goes. Turn it up, it's looking good. Looking really, really good. Give you a peek in there. Really good, it's coming along. So in a few minutes we're gonna add all those uh, all those provisions like the potatoes, the sweet potato, carrots, green banana. Yeah, this is looking good. Smells good too. And the dumpling is gonna go in there also. Cover that for a little. And it's gonna be good. Okay, so good, I think. About now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna remove this and we're gonna add this chicken stock in there. That's just gonna give it so much more flavor. Stir it. Cover it and give it time. So in about yeah, in about ten minutes or so, we we'll add all that provision. Okay, so let's add that dal in there or that yellow split piece. I don't think I'm gonna use all of this dal, but. Ah, just a little more. Okay, that should be it. I 
I'm gonna add this uh, chicken noodle in there. And also, a little salt butter. Not much, about that. About that much. And the rest of the seasoning. A little water in this. Okay, so let's check this. It's been about uh, about 12, 12, 15 minutes since it's in there. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna add this, this provisions very carefully. Just like so. Nice. Clean that up and I'm gonna add a little extra water to that. Some hot water I'll just add into there. Ooh. Yeah. That is looking so good. I think I'm gonna add a little more of this yellow split peas. Bring that to a boil and then I'll add the dumplings in there. Okay, so let's check this out. That's boiling really good. So, the chicken, well, first I added the chicken, of course, and uh, it's been cooking like for 12 to 15 minutes, and then after that, we added all that um, sweet potatoes, the, the green bananas, the carrots, and the potatoes. And um, that's been there for about like, about eight minutes, five to eight minutes. So now, we're gonna add this, um, we're gonna add the dumpling. And I think this is the first time I really made a dough that that's smooth. Looks really good. But so we're gonna start adding that. And my hands are washed, of course. The quickest way to do this It's like this. That's the quickest way to do it for me. No, I think this is the first time um, I'm handling the camera by myself. You know, so please forgive me. I mean, if you think I'm doing a good job with that camera, leave it in the comments. Let me know how I'm doing. I, you know, my son V is, um, he's gonna be on the road a lot now. You know, two, three weeks at a time. So I'm gonna have to get accustomed doing this. You know, if I wanna continue to making videos on YouTube. So yeah, let me know. Let me know how it's going. And I know at the beginning, when I added that sugar in there and you saw all that smoke, um, it, it wasn't burning, the sugar wasn't burning, I'm being honest there, you know, but I was trying to get the ca a camera angle to show you that sugar in there. Um, yeah, but that sugar, it wasn't burning at all. Um, it was perfect. Well, not perfect, everything is saying, <laughs> can't say perfect, but it was just good. But if, if, if ever you're making stew and you're using sugar or whatever, 
and that sugar starts to burn, uh, forget it. You know, don't, don't, don't waste your time. Just throw it out and start all over again because you ain't gonna like the taste. You know. So chicken seasoned with all those um, with all the seasonings you all see with the with the bandana, the onions, garlic, pimento peppers, uh, scotch bonnet. Uh, what else? Uh, green onions. You know, it's seasoned with that, and uh, what salt, sugar, of course, and uh, tomato paste, sugar, salted butter. All right, so let's check this. Oh, that's a good-looking pot of soup. All that chicken. The green bananas, sweet potatoes, all that dumplings, carrots, looking good. Okay, so final ingredient, you're just gonna add one, just one chicken bouillon cube in there. Just for that added extra flavor. You're just gonna like smash it like this and drop it. Just like so. This is gonna give it so much more flavor. And that's what it's all about. That's what cooking is all about. You know, getting those maximum flavors. That is good. That's, that's a good butter soup. I mean, I wasn't planning to do this, but because of the rainy weather outside and, you know, just wanted to put something quick and easy together and here we are, ended up with a nice pot of soup. So we're gonna give that dumpling about five minutes again and then we'll take it off. And like I said, we cooked that chicken for within 12 to 15 minutes. And after that, we added all that provision and we let that provision go for like about maybe eight minutes and then we add in that dumpling so um we'll give that dumpling it's been like i don't know about another eight minutes since the dumpling's been in there so we'll give it like another five minutes we'll shut the stove off we'll take out a nice bowl of this and we're gonna taste it um, i know it's tasting good already but um you know with that chicken bouillon gonna have to do this off camera Hmm. That is good. That's a good butter soup. The pepper is just right in that too. And the salt, that's why I didn't season with a whole lot of salt because we use that um, chicken broth and that um, Maggi uh, soup, chicken soup. You know, and th both of those things got salt in it. So it's perfect. So we don't have to add any salt to this. So in about five minutes, Get back to the spot and yeah, we get ready to eat some soup. Okay, so I think it's time. Oh yeah, this is done. This is definitely done. So let me just shut this stove off here. Good. And look at that. You know, it's not too, it's not too thick, it's not too thin, it's just right. Just right. Chicken, sweet potato dumplings, the green bananas, I mean, yeah, that is gonna be so good. So, so good. I glad, I'm so glad, I'm so happy that I decided to do this. Yeah, I'm gonna take a bowl, go into the living room, turn the TV on. Yeah, maybe watch a movie or something. 
and eat as much as this as possible. So let's get this into a bowl right now. I'm gonna start off with a small bowl, you know. Not too much. But I want a little of everything. Especially those dumplings. Potatoes. Sweet potato. Some more. Most of the regular potato will be fine. Oh, I can't wait. Let's get some sauce here. Look at that, that's looking really good, right? Yeah, let me bring it on the table. So here is that finished product. Here is that chicken soup. It looks so good. You see, you see all the, um, the sweet potato, the potato, the green bananas. Um, you can see the carrots there, the chicken of course. You know, that looks really, really good, right? Not bad for a quick, for a real quick, um, you know, Sunday soup. Looks really good, really yummy. And I'm gonna eat this right now. Yeah, so let me get a spoon. Let me get a spoon and um, yeah, we're gonna eat. So let's try this soup. Let's try. It's very, I know it's very, very hot, but let's try it. Some potato. <laughs> Hold on a second. For something I wasn't planning on doing, and uh, you know, just putting it together, it's, a, it's really delicious. I mean, a lot of people tell me I use amazing too much, so I'm not gonna use amazing. But it is so delicious, really tasty, really, really tasty. I want that. Um, I want that dumpling. Try this chicken. Little sauce. Mmm. Mmm. This is too good to eat. I mean, we shouldn't be eating something. Something that tastes so good. I mean, shouldn't be eating this. I'm, I want to put it by my bedside, and first thing I wake up in the morning, I see it glassing. Before I go to bed, I see this. I mean, I don't know if that makes sense, but it is. It, it is so good. Um, the only complaint I have with this is the sweet potato. I don't really like the, that, that regular ordinary sweet potato. I like the bunny at the sweet potato. It, it's so much more tastier than this. Much more flavor. But that's the yeah. The only thing I'll complain about is that sweet potato. But um. All in all, this soup is really, really good. So, if you, I mean, if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and you know, leave it in the comments below. Let me know how I did as the cameraman and the cook at the same time. You know, I'll appreciate that, but do subscribe. And um, I'm gonna continue eating this. I mean, this is, huh. That chicken is full of flavor. I mean, that chicken broth, um, the chicken bouillon to the end, 
the dal, the yellow strippies, too much flavor, too much flavor. I really love it. I really, really love this here. Chicken with that sauce. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna sit by the TV, watch a movie or something. Enjoy a couple of bowls of this and um, just chill. So my friends, thank you, thank you for choosing to, you know, to check out our video. I know, I know you could be looking at any other video, but you choose to uh, check out amazing order cooking. I do appreciate that. Um, you know, thanks again, and uh, until then, my friends, please be safe. Take care.